So, Monday morning, after corn harvest is done, we are dealing with mud, obviously still, and we are having some trouble with these notch blades on the 5200 uh, before it really got wet, just with the uh, small rain events that came through. We had uh, trash building up in here, and then it caused it to plug up in here. So we, we ordered some smooth blades, like what are on the front, because we never had the issue on the front. We just had it in the two middle ranks. So we're gonna, we're gonna try solid blades and uh, see if that fixes our problem because we are gonna be dealing with some terrible conditions. So um, we'll see. We're gonna get this thing out this afternoon and play in some mud. They also said tilt it back a little bit so that the, the back does a little bit more than the front. It will prevent um, plug and slime. So we'll see. We'll see. Doug has got to winterize his, uh, his yacht. <laughs> so he's uh, got it in the wash bay. Yeah, Randy had a good point. He said, take a good look at the tracks, how clean they are, because it ain't going to be like that until this winter. Mmm. That's my next job, I believe, is to clean tracks out of the grain carts so that we can use them on tillage, right? Use the, use the other tractors on tillage. We get to clean the tracks out just to get them dirty again. I'm uh, really not liking to take that one out and get it dirty. I know, it's pretty clean. Oh, don't get run over there. Look out, Tobes. Look out, Tobes. Look at, they're wearing out already. Yeah, we covered some ground with her. Hey, should we just take your yacht out for the afternoon? It's pretty nice out. Oh, we brought it home yesterday, and let me tell you, when the canopy thing got shaded over us, it was cold. <laughs> So according to Salford, they put the notch blades on there to prevent plugging, but it was plugging, and I don't know if they, they truly understand how sticky our ground is. Well, you've seen, it, it's something. Now with that also being said, tillage might just not work for a while anyways, but they're forecasting more rain, and I've already seen some comments on Instagram of why are you mudding up your fields and wrecking your fields? Well, it's because the next rain event is probably going to come and make things much worse. And it's pretty nice today, but come mid-October, you start getting shady days and highs in the 50s, 60s. Stuff just don't dry out, so you just got to go when you can, for the most part, if you can. And that's why we own 2,700 rippers, nice and light, so that uh, you can drag them through the water and mud if you have to. So my next concern is, is that he ain't gonna be able to pull it just in general. Just do, Spinning. just spin out. Um, I kept that chisel plow of ours. No, we'll get the we'll get the big 2,700 rippers out, and then we'll just drag them through everything like we've done I'd in the past. I'd rather chisel plow it, air it out, and then go back out after. Well, it I was thinking, thing. how about our little light sulfur, the spring tool? Flop it, just break it up, open it up. But that field that we were combining in, that's that's just, I don't know what we're going to do out there. It better dry and the forecast of rain better not happen, but it probably will. Are you hot? That's my soft spot. <laughs> <laughs> so we are uh, trying to empty out the dryers and top bends off. It has literally come down so close to not fitting that it possibly won't all fit. We might have to put some in the overhead and haul some to town, which is a good thing. That is a good thing. That means the yields were really good. Hey, Duggo. He's on top of the wet bend there. We're filling that with uh, dry corn right now. Got the salt air out here. 
We're gonna try and blow some of the mud off of this stuff. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna pick and blow and try to clean some of this up because all this friction takes a lot of horsepower, number one, plus I'm sure it is not good on anything. So we're gonna try and clean these up because um, Eric's land that we're gonna be custom farming for him, he wants to use the light duty sulfur on it. It's a little lighter soil around um, where he actually lives. And we're gonna hopefully use this tractor on that. So we wanna clean it up a little bit, but we'll see. It's gotta be done regardless. Please don't be dead. Which is the start button here? So the salt air didn't really work because what we're dealing with is absolute slime mud. I had a had a good idea that it was going to be challenging with the salt air, but we've just gone to uh, digging it out by hand. He's driving it around. We've done two tracks so far. Picked a little bit on the third and fourth one on the 9R. But look at how much mud we've dug out of the. Oh my! It's something. It is something. Woo. And Eric's out there with the Pro Force spreading fertilizer and the other quad track getting two more all mudded up. Things were going nice until it rained five inches. You remember doing this in 2019 when we did this every morning for three hours? That's what I was gonna say. It's only one good thing. We don't have to do it every dang day. Until our tillage tractor comes home every day. Yeah, I think the new friends that I was looking for in Arizona called, so I'll be leaving tonight. I suppose. Please call. Somebody call. Could somebody please call from Arizona. No, please don't call. We need, we need Doug. So the 9R here, we're getting her about three hours in here. Getting closer, we've got the salt air blowing chaff off and trying to clean up the excess mud here and there. Yeah, it's been uh, not so much fun area right now oh we're having so much fun you wouldn't believe it you just wouldn't believe it well darkness is set upon us and we, our bodies it's are good. so physically drained they can, won't see all the mud on my face <laughs> here maybe if i oh look at i can't even see the guys here do i look dirty no you look perfect Oh, I guess I'm perfect. <laughs> well, it seems as if our sol cellular air possibly run out of fuel. We're half done with the quad track. The green one's done. Been working on this since like 2 o'clock today. It's now 7.30. It's, it's fun. We're having fun. Mr. The attack of the mad starter. Mr. Starter now wants to hang up. When when it rains, it just pours, doesn't it, Duggo? She seems to be out of fuel or something. Yeah, that's number one rule of things without <coughs> gas, things without gas gauges on. Just fill them up every single time you use them. That's what Dad would do. Yeah. Has my hump grown at all today? <laughs> Here, stand back now. Here we go. Come on. Why is it wanting to build air pressure? I don't know. Oh, it's happened? something strange with her. Jeez. Hey, Toby. Jacked up again. All right, we got the uh, Sol Air fired up. She must have been out of fuel. But now it, it seems almost as if we have a starter issue. It'll have to, it'll, it'll work. It'll work. We should be on this in the dark, in the cold. Yeah, that um, sounds real fun. <laughs> now I get to winterize it. Hey, now they can see your ear and your face with all the dirt and... Look at my pants. These pants are... Yeah. yeah. The worst is, is that we get to do that all again in the morning. Right. That's well. gonna be really fun to get to work and get dirty right away. I'm just gonna tell Amy I'm not showering tonight. Good luck with that. Amy? Yeah, okay, I will. <laughs>